Hi everyone, welcome to FNS Resellers YouTube channel. We are a husband and wife reselling couple. We buy and sell from charity shops and auctions mainly to resell on eBay and Amazon. Faye's been out this morning and done a quick run around. And, Four shops. Ooh, and uh, I've not seen it, it's piled up here, but I've not looked at it. Um, and also we went out together uh, around about five days ago and got a few bits then. So we're gonna show you everything that we've bought to resell. Uh, you can check out our sales videos to see what we sell. So uh, often you'll see things in the next sale video when, when stuff goes quickly, which is always good. And just wanna welcome new subscribers uh, we're picking up new subscribers every day, which is wonderful. So if you're new here uh, and you haven't seen our videos before or seen many of them, then you can flick back through the channel and look at some other videos. And also hit subscribe if you're watching and not subscribed, then you'll get the notifications as long as you hit that bell to see our latest videos. Mm. We put out three videos a week, so there's always plenty to watch and catch up on and we hope you enjoy. The first lot we're showing you is a collection of items that we got when we were out together. Uh, one was one charity shop because we just popped out for a sandwich the other lunchtime. There was a charity shop a few doors up so we just whizzed in there didn't we? And then the coffee's gonna fall over. And then the other one uh, was when we popped to the supermarket on Saturday afternoon after a family lunch we just whizzed into one next door didn't we? Mm. So yeah, kind of impromptu sourcing trips. Shall I show this first? Yeah, go on then. Because it's right where I want to put my coffee, so we'll get it out of the way. Ba -ba. So I saw this in a cabinet on Saturday at the bottom. It was six pounds, and I thought, wow, that's going to be uranium. I didn't have my torch with me, but there yeah, you go. Glares up really, really nicely. It's a... Um, like dressing table set is a ring holder, three trinket pots, two of the same size, one's bigger, and there's one candlestick and a tray. Normally there's two candlesticks on things like this, but uh, I'm sure someone will love it. We just sold one trinket pot, sort of similar size to uh, one of those on its own for 15 pounds, I think. Yeah, it didn't have a lid. So I think we sort of said we'll probably list that at 49.99, something like that. Uh, and see how it goes. We won't put uranium in the title because uh, it sort of spells trouble, uh, particularly for international shipping. Um, so just bear that in mind. Green glass, glowing glass, glows on the UV light, you can sort of say those sort of things, but uh, I'm not telling you what to do, but we don't put uranium in the title. If you're not sure what uranium glass is, uh, check it out. It's very interesting indeed. Uh, and there you go, and there's a great example of uh, a uranium glass set. Check these out, little cups with this little cow character on with matching saucers. Oh, hang on, there we go. Paid $3.99 for four of them. What's that say, Galitza? And it's Galitza Porcelain Manufacture Germany. I've never heard of this brand before, but I looked them up and it was, um, they sell quite, sell quite well. I didn't see any in this design or anything similar, um, but as far as the brand goes, uh, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, it's a new one for us. Let's get them out of the way. Out of the way, indeed. So, we've done two lots of breakables so far. Nothing has been broken yet. If you oh, saw our last gosh. video, you will know that I've got form for breaking stuff. It's up a baseball mitt. This is nothing special, just uh, Midwest paid. Well, that's great, isn't it? I think I paid £1.50. I think I can get about 15 for it. And this was interesting. I need to check out if it's real or not. Um, but it's Amiga, as in the watch make, and it's like a watch. Omega. Omega. Um, it's a, oh God, the light. It's a, um, like a storage case. So for like taking it on holiday or People who have those huge walk-in wardrobes with loads of shells, put their what they collect watches, put them in things like this. So that was $3.99. And this one I'll get this out of the way because it's heavy. And if it falls over, it'll damage the table. So, oh my goodness. Paid £3 for these. They're Ubert's Ubert's 
one uh, and patonk. So basically, it's a patonk set, you know, like French balls. Bowls. Um, balls. 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 Yeah, it's balls. You said French balls. I didn't, I said balls. <laughs> balls or balls? I'm sure you said balls. Balls! <laughs> I'm not even going to try and get them out, but they're vintage. Took one out. I did look up the make. They've seen some seen some action. They look fine though. I mean, they're made of metal, so uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't think we've ever sold anything like this before, have we? Nope. I mean, not not patonk. Know, not patonk. No. Nice. Uh, when Zoe asked me, and my sister, she's a reseller as well, asked me what I picked up. I said, oh, like a vintage set of patonk. She's like, right, googling patonk now. She didn't know what it was. And on the same trip, I also grabbed this bugaboo um, sun canopy for a bugaboo B push chairs. Not sure you can say bugaboo on YouTube. Bugaboo, bugaboo. Uh, £2.50 paid. That one? Oh, yes. Paid up on this, um, but I thought it was the right time of year. It's a Harris Tweed handbag. It's got the Harris Tweed on the back. Uh, brand new with tags and this was $14.99 but I reckon I can get about 50 for it with a bit of luck. Mm. Me again. Well it's, it's kind <laughs> of all you isn't it really? Yeah okay. <laughs> now oh, this next item, That's heavy. Simon was paying for our purchases and then I was like oh no can we just add this. I'd seen it in there a few times and I left it behind but I, I decided to look up the make. So it's a faux fur gilet thing which i've bought quite a few of recently and the brand is urban code and i paid 8.99 and i reckon i can get about 40 pound for that so and it sort of code. matches that doesn't it it does and at the same uh, time i got this bart's faux fur sort of ear warmer thing um for the winter again this is brand new with tags and this was £2.49 and the actual price on it is £22.99 so Ooh. we've sold Bart stuff before like 90% off you got that far yes and a Bowden dress this is an interesting print this is the reason I picked it up it's got Union Jacks on it it's a maxi dress with sleeves like a chiffon style, it's got horses, crowns, and Union Jacks on it. I did look up the design, but I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but that was six ninety nine. I reckon I can get about thirty for that. Pretty sure we showed the Bowden label in the last video. Yeah. Vintage handbag. Look at the colour of this. Beautiful. It's uh, Jacques Vert, but the vintage label there you go and it's even got a bag bag the original bag, bag. bag for the bag <laughs> <laughs> um it's excellent conditions probably used a couple of times for special occasions and it costs 6.99 but i'm going to put that on ebay and i'm going to cross list that to etsy we are using new cross listing software uh, it cross lists from eBay to, well, it cross lists amongst eBay, Etsy, Depop, and Vinted. You can go any way, which way you like. We're doing eBay to the other platforms. So everything we list everything on eBay and then can cross list it. We'll be doing a video about it, I guess, in a couple of weeks because we're still sort of testing it. It's got a lot of issues, so much so that they're not actually charging for the service at the moment. Uh, but as long as you go careful with things like that when you're trialing them, and using them. Uh, I have video calls once a week, I've got one coming up uh, day after tomorrow just to iron out some sort of glitches, send pass some feedback over. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely got really good potential. Uh, nothing here in the UK, well there wasn't, but now there is. Yeah, it's great for Etsy, we've found, although you have to do the tags yourself, but for Depop, there's, I wouldn't rush thinking, oh yeah, I must find out what that is and uh, cross this to Depop because there's lots of issues at the moment. There's so. a bit of work to do, yeah. Mm. I think I might have got this. You did. Um, absolutely fabulous. 4 99 for a box set. I can't remember how much it was on Amazon, but um, you know, nice little brand new silver box set. Might as well get this one out mm -hmm. of the way. No, you will not. That's my pile. <laughs> okay, is this... This okay, is, can I show this? Yes, you can show this. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Rush Hour. 
a uh, bit of a bolo this can be check out sole prices the sole prices on this were really low um but the rank was really good and so we took a punt because it was cheap do you remember yeah it's the rank on amazon <clears throat> i've just scanned it through onto the app it's 1192 in toys it's actually a completely different box art so ah. always check the box art on ebay you're taking your own photos you're making your own listings on ebay you're matching their catalogue <laughs> it so still you takes can, you to that one yeah so you can scan something and you know the box art is different generally amazon customers are pretty picky i would i would say yeah. so you do have to be careful with that we have sold loads of versions of rush hour before though yeah it is i i'd, I'd say it's generally one to look out for um because of the older versions you know versions change things change people like older versions of stuff they don't like the new versions of them because they've changed them or spoiled them or whatever um even down to things vintage games that used to be made out of wood that are now made out of plastic. People like prefer the, the older versions, things like Monopoly with the sort of metal pieces versus some of the newer versions. So yeah, always do your research, but um, there we go. Don't know how to finish up that little uh, <laughs> bit off. Uh, oh yeah, this is quite cool actually. Um, very sort of innocuous looking, if that's the right word. Uh, bounce off, uh, I checked the balls, all the balls are in there. Um, and always check your balls yeah always do your research check your balls uh but yeah it's a nice little resale value on that so definite bono um this is nothing new downfall a lot of people talk about this game uh but this version uh when's it from 2004 uh was pretty popular and has good resale value as does hullabaloo uh, now I got one of these, there's one of these in my haul video recently and the unit was completely uh, uh, ruined through battery leakage, which is a shame. So I've got lots of spare of the little mats, whatever, wherever they are, uh, but I do need a unit. So now I've got a unit, hopefully I've got a complete game. Um, but yeah, paid 50 whole pence for that and that. Uh, is a good 24 to 30 pounds um, easily on Amazon. Uh, can I slide these forward and move these yes, back? Yes, you can. Thank you. Permission to touch your... That's everything we got when we were out together. And I went out today on my own and went to four shops. I reckon I was gone... Do you reckon I went about half ten? Maybe. Yeah, I reckon I did. And I was back by one-ish. So that's pretty good going. Takes 10, 15 minutes to get there. It took longer to get back. A little while ago, we did a haul video where I got a load of jackets, Rohan jackets, and I spoke to the lady at the time and she said, come back tomorrow because I'm getting a delivery of stock. You can go through it. I, I did, I went back, I went through it all, bought loads, and she took my number and said she'd ring me next time she got more stock in like that in bulk. Hadn't heard from her, so I thought, right, best I go back. Um, I spoke to her today, she hasn't had any more boxes in, but she has still got my number, she said that. Um, so I did still get some good stuff today, but I didn't get to root around out the back. So that's why I went out. Um, so I picked up this four DVD box set Christmas, that was three pounds. I also, a box set Christmas. Box set of Christmas, yeah. <laughs> um, I saw loads and loads of puzzles when I was out today. Windows of space full of them, but they wanted like ten pound for used puzzles, uh, so I didn't pick up um, any. Well, just this one. This was eight pounds. Whoa! You paid eight pounds. I did pay eight pounds. You crazy? Well, yeah, but I scanned it, so it was worth it. Yeah. I also. Should we scan it now? Nah. Do you want to know what I think? <laughs> I'll go on then. All right then. I'll, uh, I'll give my uh, critique of phase eight pound, 500 piece Falcon jigsaw puzzle pickup. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good actually. Well, the, the main good thing about it is it's out of stock, so we don't know what it was selling for. From um, experience, I know that thousand piece Falcon puzzles, a lot of them are around 12 pounds new. Um, Obviously, we've got Monopoly on this because no one else is selling it. So uh, I'm not sure realistically what we could reach for. 29.99. Okay, I'll check Keeper. Uh, 29.99. Uh, 
If I remember though, when we do sell it, I will update you and tell you how much we sold it for. But it is Christmas. It is Christmas. Yeah, people do do some crazy things at Christmas. Oh, big bolo. Yeah, I didn't even scan this. Golden balls, always check your balls. It's definitely a balls theme, this one. Don't tell, yeah. And but don't tell me you checked your balls. I didn't check my balls. No, <laughs> no. She's lying, she didn't check her balls at all. Um, but I know that Simon likes to pick this one up. But I picked this up. We, when, the I first like time we ever got this, I picked it up. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Four pounds. Okay. How, many, how many balls? Loads. Oh, loads of them. We won't count them now. They look like olives. They don't look gold. They look like green olives. Cool. Well, Good cross your fingers for us that it is um, complete. We've sold this brand new and sealed before for I think 60 to 80 pounds. I think used, uh, you're looking at maybe 35, 40. Last time I looked. I've not looked at it for a while. There was actually a guy on in a Facebook group who was selling 29 puzzles and games for 190 quid. Um, seven, of, seven of them were brand new and sealed um, monopolies of one description or another. Um, but I asked him if the others had checked and he said no. So I'm not going to spend sort of £6.50 an item on something that I can't just have a quick look at. He just said he wasn't interested in selling board games. But I thought, well, you've got eight of the same item, brand new and sealed. It's one listing. Mm. Why, why wouldn't you just do that? Because it had, you know, they were selling, it had sold on eBay for 20 quid. Um, I didn't check Amazon. I thought that was a bit strange. If you happen to be watching, I am interested if you want to uh, let me know if they're complete or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, we've sold this a few times. We actually have this. It terrifies one of our very close friends. It's the electric shock roulette game. Oh, but you put your finger in it, do you, instead of yeah. holding the handles? I was thinking there's there's handles missing. No, there's not handles <laughs> oh, missing. You can let me know if that works then. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I pay three pounds. I also picked up a cross stitch kit, a Disney one. We picked a uh, Winnie the Pooh one up on uh, a garage sale trail or the garage sale trail of the summer. And that sold pretty quickly. And this one was only three pound, which some chazzers charge a lot of money for these, uh, whether they're Disney or not. Um, but yeah, really pleased that that's um, oh, in our pile. Right. And then I also picked up this lovely condition called Baffled. Have we sold this before? Don't recognise it, no. It's a lovely box. I like boxes like that when they're sort of shiny and smooth yeah. and sort of, and when the game's got a bit of weight to it, it always feels like a quality item. It does, doesn't like it? Like a heavy bottle of wine. I paid $2.95 and it's only available new at £17.40, no used available. Nothing and that, special. And that just means that with the 1740, it doesn't mean to say that new, it doesn't mean to say that we're going to sell it cheaper than that. A lot of stuff's going to run out this Christmas. Um, people are going to want things for Boxing Day, New Year's Eve parties, all that sort of stuff. And just, you know, general sales. So um, when I list that, if there's no used, I'll list it higher than the new price and just sit on it till uh, potentially it sells out new. And if it doesn't, then I'll drop the price close to Christmas. Don't actually sit on it though. <laughs> cool. Oh, you were gonna ask? <laughs> okay. I wanted to ask Simon before I showed him what I got, although I've shown him like the hard goods. Um, I wanted to sort of said to him, do you have any um, sort of predictions or expectations of brands that I've picked up? And he said, wait for the video, <sighs> ask me then. So, <laughs> Like, asking you now, what do you reckon I've come back with brand-wise? Rohan, Mint Velvet, mm, maybe a, well, I want to say Sweaty Betty, but we don't really see that that often. Uh, so I'll go for Joe Browns. Although I know you don't tend to pick it up, but you do if something's nice. There we go. Let's see if we, how many of those three we've got. Two out of three ain't bad. Oh. Said meatloaf. <laughs> we should have left it to the last one and you'd be like, is it the Joe Browns? Because <laughs> I guess that's the one I haven't got. I've sold some Ben's fat face items quite quickly um, in the last few weeks. So I picked this up because it's extra large and it was £6. But it's a men's fat face jacket. Mm. Didn't think of saying fat face. Next up. It's 
doing some uh, running repairs on this. Next up, we have One Valley Performance jacket. Looked it up in the shop. It costs five pounds and it's a large. Now there was another reseller that came into this particular shop when I was in there and I had nearly completed the shop. Uh, I was just on my last rail. I had on the last uh, level. Yeah. Just had the boss to beat at the till. Yeah, I had like an arm full of stuff. I'd already been back to the till four times to create a pile there. And um, yeah, I think this guy realised and started. This is where all my clear tape's going. Brand new tags, Ivisu. Now I think that's good. Um, it's a newest tag, eight pound medium, and it's got the, I'll just poke myself in the eye with the tag. There's the logo on the back as well. Mm. Um, that's what I was just looking at when the other reseller turned up. I also got this Jules jumper. I tend to only pick these up now if they've got like a, a graphic or like design on the front like an animal and this is sort of quite Christmassy because it's got glitter on it it cost four pounds and it is a size 10 hopefully that will sell quite quickly that's what I should have said Jules can I take no Joe Brown's back no Robel trousers there we go these are the Bella trousers I just literally listed a pair of Bella trousers the other day uh, in a different colour, these were four pounds and they're a size 14. Ooh, so similar. Very expensive trousers, brand new. Over a hundred pounds. Now, I picked this up in a shop where the jigsaw, used jigsaws were 10 pound each. Have you finished? It's Finger a Jules it. Men's Gelee, massive, for six pounds. Dick fly rod if you're watching. Yeah. Could be all yours. Double XL. Double XL that is. Six pounds. Try not pound. to dip it in your hot chocolate. It's empty. Six pounds. But they weigh ten pounds for a used jigsaw. It's a bit re redonkulous, isn't it? In the same shop I also got this Maeve, Meave Maeve top. Quite pretty. This is a size small and it is it was three pounds fifty. Again, £10 for used jigsaws. Once that pile gets too big, we'll stick them back here. Okay. I found some brand new with tags at Dezigwal. Dezigwal. Here we go. It's like poppies or roses. What are they? Hard to tell. £5.25, and that is a medium. Uh. That was good. Now, this, I think, I should. What have you done? See, I thought this was Jules, not Jules. Tom Jules clothing. Because there's the the um, equestrian Jules or Jules, and that's what I thought this was. And then oh. when I was getting it in the car, I saw the rabbit. You know, they have on all the Dick Flyrod style clothes. Oh. So, so what you think is fishing? Well, I'm, no, I'm not I'm no, this is Jules. No, you need to go. You need to go and brush up on your. <laughs> I need to go and stand stuff. outside for a couple of hours and watch what's going on. But I don't think it's ever been worn. It's three. It was three pound ninety. It's a size ten. That's fine. Next up, we've got some Joe Browns. Oh. Now I paid. I haven't finished yet. Well, you told me two out of three, and we've seen Rohan. No, oh, we haven't. Yeah. They're Robel. All right, carry on. <sighs> right, paid <laughs> up for these, but I think that I will get good money because look at that deer print thing going on, and it's a size 24. Whoa. I was way off. I paid 9.95, but I reckon I could get 30 for that. There we go. So. <clears throat> That's that one. And then on the sale rail, they had this Timberland jacket, medium, for three pounds. So I couldn't leave that behind. There's the Timberland logo. There. Uh, yeah, three pounds, reduced from seven ninety-five, and this is a medium. 
Good stuff. And I also, in the £10 for used jigsaw puzzle shop, picked up this brand. <laughs> Get over it. Cuba Sales, British sale makers from Devon. It's a shirt. This was also the shop where I said to the lady, can I start a pile please? I want to get these, but I want to carry on looking. And she's like, yeah, yeah, no worries. Just put them here. So she took them off me. And then to every customer, she's like, oh, are these yours? Are these yours? Oh, I was just muttering to myself. They're mine, blimmin' heck. Blimmin'. Gosh. It's like a snail's crawled across it, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Next up, got Jay Brown's. Yay. I think this could have been donated by the same person. This is a size 18 though, and I paid 9 95 But again, I think I'll get 30. This was a bit of a punt. Ivy Park sweatshirt of Beyonce. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's an extra small, but it was £3, but it doesn't look extra small. It looks quite big. It's been washed a few times, maybe. It's supposed to look like that, you... What, this bit? No, I was just saying because you said it doesn't look small. It's, just, well, well, it's been, like, stretched in the wash. Like, I'm all my clothes and you wash them. <laughs> I don't stretch your clothes in the wash, I shrink them. <laughs> Another pair of Robel trousers. But these ones are the coated ones, and I reckon these will fly because coated trousers are bang on trend. Mm. I've got a pair, we call them my tinsel trousers. Yeah, they make a right racket. These were reduced to £7.50 from 15 because they're brand new with tags. Blimey. Nice. We did well with those. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not even finished yet. I also got some Raybel trousers, some more coated ones. <laughs> more tinsel trousers. Yeah, these were five pounds from the same shop, but not new, but I don't reckon they've been worn. Again, I'll say it, they are over a hundred pounds on the website, Raybel website. Really? Mm -hmm. um, just a Hobbs, like long line jumper. There's the tag. This was six pounds, it's extra large. Start a new pile, please, sir. Hmm. I've got another Joe Browns. This one's sort of like a cold shoulder-ish style, but it's brand new with tags. Paid three pound fifty for it. Got a few brand new with tag stuff. Yeah. Next up, I've got a jacket, and it's Rohan. Hey, of course it is. And it's a medium. I paid five pounds. Oh, it's a um, reversible. It's fleece. Oh, sweet. And a soft shell. So I'm guessing the tag might be in the pocket, so I know what it is. Oh yeah, it's a converter jacket. K H O N V E R T A converter. Yeah. Nice. Medium. So that's good. Mm. Didn't know it's reversible. <laughs> Bonus. I also picked up another fat face jacket, men's. This one is an extra large, and I paid seven fifty for it. Doing well with the jackets. Just shows how far we've sort of come in four or five years, the difference in stuff that we're picking up now compared to then. I've got some jeans. You're welcome. <laughs> Tore everything I know. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> because Faye needed a job where she could have a lion. <laughs> so we decided to work from home. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. That is not true. Right, got some Rohan jeans. The last lot of Rohan jeans we sold went really quickly. Now I think these are men's. Let's see. But they are a 34R. So yeah, men's. They were on the men's rail. Not found men's cos before. But here you go. The men's cos. Here's the label. 
This is a size small, but it's three. it was three pounds. And I actually, I don't know if I've been approved yet, but I tried to join a Facebook cos reset, well not reselling group, but not, not well, for selling secondhand clothes, but possibly not as a business seller, but you just have to pretend that you're just clearing out your wardrobe. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> no, shh. Um, so I'm gonna put those on there when I get approved. I picked up this brand new with tags. Again, brand new tags, poetry top. There you go. It's, it's a size 10 and um, it cost four pounds. Brand new with tags. Mm. Nice. Check out this color. Whoa. This is an that other- is yellow, isn't it? It is. That's big bird yellow. <laughs> keep it you know do you think <laughs> yellow's my color i'd have to check my um, check your color palette Anoisis. yeah i have my um colors done so this is and other stories uh, i don't normally pick this up too much anymore um but i couldn't leave this behind three pounds and it's a large needs washing it does but what is it made from that is the question Cotton, acrylic, polyamide, wool, and elastine. Elastine, elastine. A couple more things left. This one is pretty hideous. But it was three pound. Joe Brown's, size 12. Maybe you don't think it's hideous. Maybe you'd like to buy it off me, let me know. We've had a few subscriber sales. Thanks mm. very much to yeah, everyone have. that's bought off us. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I don't normally pick up Oasis, but it was brand new with tags, four pounds, thought I'd give it a go. Those sleeves. I know, it's a special, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? So this one doesn't need ironing. <laughs> <laughs> it's got lots of crinkles in it. And then the last item of clothing I got was brand new with tags, cos. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to be mint velvet. Didn't get any mint velvet. 69 pound it should cost, I paid 15, but look at that. I mean. What is it? It's a top. It's a it's shirt. It's like a skirt. So we had, so we had one of these cold tops on on Saturday when we went out for our... Thanks for noticing. Oh, I noticed. Oh, I didn't. Well, you should have noticed. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me, Zoe. Is that a... UK 18. Nice. There you go. That is everything I got. What do you think? Do you think it was any good? Would you pick them up? Did I pay too much? Did I get some bargains? Pay too much for a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. No, I did not. It's out of stock. <laughs> so what do you think overall of all the stuff I got? Very impressed. Yeah, a few sort of like Ro Robel or Robel, Sophie will let us know. Like we've sort of seen that a bit more recently or have we just not really been looking for it? No, we've always known it's a decent brand. So yeah, that's like, good to see that stuff. Um, I have every faith in you that you've made the right decision. I did well with some brand new tag stuff, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your favourite pickup? Uh, well, I'm going to go with... Um... I picked that up. You can't go with that. That I picked that up today. <coughs> what's your favourite pickup? Oh, I would put Hullabaloo. <laughs> Hullabaloo. It's always a winner. And so what, other than Golden Balls, is your favourite pickup of yours? Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I reckon the brand new Tags Robel trousers could well be up there. We hope you enjoyed that video. Maybe it's given you motivation or inspiration or something to get out and source some different types of brands. Faye's got a really big long list alphabetical on her phone of all the brands that she looks out for. So when she's flicking through the rails, if there's something she doesn't recognise, she can have a sort of quick look if she's not got time maybe to look stuff up, but. Make your own list. You can go on eBay, you can look at people's shops who you know sell clothing, whatever, look at what they're selling, filter high to low, have a look at some of those brands. You can look at high-end sort of shopping areas, see what shops have a footprint in like a town. Yeah, lots of ways to sort of build a kind of, like a bolo list really, like a little black book. Or it doesn't even have to be really good brands. You could like, if you see a lot of um, just F and F or Demart or something, type it, like search Demart used, solds 
on eBay and filter high to low and see what sells. It could be like bolo items from their range that people just can't get enough of. And that's what I've done. That's what I do sitting in front of the telly. That's how I made my list. So make your list. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us some comments. What did you think of the video? What did you think of the pickups? And what would you like to see from us next time? Bye Thanks for very now. Much. Bye.